Okay, we're talking to Wendy Sims just after the women's race at the 2009 Cyclocross World Championships here in Hugerheide, Netherlands. Uh, Wendy, you had a real good start. You were up, when I saw you going up the stairs on the first lap, you were sitting in fourth, just behind the leaders. Uh, can you tell us about about your race to start and then how it developed from there? Um, actually, I had a really good start. I was behind Hanka and um, just uh, powered up the hill and had a saw sort of a crash happening in slow motion to my left so I managed to just get around it and then pop into the uh, grass probably fourth or fifth and uh, I was sitting pretty pretty well and just hanging on to the leaders trying to stay within the whole first lap and usually things settle down in the second lap so I thought I'd be able to get a little bit of a rest but they just ramped it up in the second lap so uh, I was suffering a little bit and then I just couldn't see the whole wheels and a uh, big group got past me and yeah, I just didn't have a lot to back it up after that, giving everything for that first lap so I had to sort of settle in a little bit and uh, just, yeah, couldn't seem to really hold wheels today so I went backwards, I think I was, I don't know, in the teens, 16 or something. So. Yeah, I think I, I had you sort of high teens uh, yeah, at the finish yeah. because, yeah, you, you sort of fourth and then you dropped around low teens and then yeah. you sort of held it around mid-teens for most of the race and then a little bit of a drop to the end. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't exactly what I was going for, but, um, you know, sometimes you're given an opportunity and you just got to roll with it. So I was just trying to stay with the leaders and it took a lot more out of me than I thought it would. And um, it was the kind of course where you just had to be on, in, in the draft, in the right spots, and uh, that's what I just couldn't seem to hold it. Yeah, I mean, there seemed to be much really technical or mud or anything. No, no. I mean, I was making up some times on the corners. I seemed to be able to catch people on the corners, but there's a really bumpy power section just before you got on the road, and I seemed to be losing a bit of time on that, so I had to catch up on the road, and then so I wasn't getting as much draft as I should have, and just took a lot more out of me than I expected, so. Yeah, yeah not the, not exactly what I wanted, but, you know, I went for it, and wasn't conservative, which you, you kind of have to just throw it all out there for the world, so. All right. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks, and I guess this is the end of your season now? Yeah, yeah, I go to the Multi-Silence with Norm for a week without a bike, so it'll be a good break. Um, get rolling for mountain bike season. Good, thanks a lot. Thanks.